I remember people always telling me that if I wanted a good painting tape, I better go expensive. Well, to that I say poppycock, or in other words, bullshit. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put that myth to the test. Now we got some basic scotch 3M contractor grade tape, and we're going to move it along to the stuff that I always use, the scotch blue as the original multi-surface, and then from there, yep, we're going to go with the froggy tape. And the whole reason why I wanted to do this test was, well, because of the froggy tape. Check it out. It even says, well, it's better than the other. And I know if you're anything like me, you stand there staring at all the different tapes wondering, should I really spend $4 more? For the froggy tape, you're looking at about $8. For the blue 3M, you're looking at over $7. And for the general contractor tape, you're looking at about $3 and some change. And for our first test, we are using some of the finest materials known to man, pine. Ooh, that's nice. Now I'm even going to clean this off a little bit so I don't hear any comments like, I can't believe you didn't clean it off. All right, so now that you're subscribed and you hit that like button, we're going to open up our tape. We got the generic contractor gray, we got the blue 3M, and then we got our froggy tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to look and see the thickness of these, how easy they are to open up, and... Uh, you got... Uh, well, I guess I can see where the extra dollar went. All right, so let's open up our froggy tape first. Now, I have no nails. I know this. I hear it in every comment section. I appreciate your concern, but I chew my nails. But that being said, not that hard to open. It's actually pretty easy, but it's really thin. You're probably only looking at like two thousandths of an inch thick on this stuff, and you can definitely feel it in your hands. The blue tape, however, well, it's a little bit thicker. We'll talk about that, but let's put this on real good. We're going to rub down the edges. Gonna make sure that it's sealed up because this stuff here states that it's the only tape with paint block technology and seals the tape edges. Really? Well, we'll see about that froggy tape. But let's move it over to the 3M Blue. Now, definitely a thicker consistency on this tape. Definitely more rugged if you were in an area which, you know, takes a lot of abuse, people are walking up against things or whatever. This will hold up a lot better, I think, than any other tape that we have here. But we're going to rub down those edges to make sure we get her all the way down. Because if not, I know I'll get a comment saying, I can't believe you didn't rub down those edges. And now that you hit that bell notification, well, what the crap is this? Seriously, no nails. So, a little frustrating here. So, I'm just going to take my recip saw blade and gently got it. Now, it's definitely thinner like the froggy tape. Right? It's not as thick and robust as the 3M Blue, but we're going to put it down on there like so, and we're going to rub in those edges. Because again, well, you know. Now, once we have this down, right, we're going to run the first test, and we're going to use a stain. And what's cool about this stain is it's almost like an oil base, right? It is not one of those real runny types but I still would expect some of this to seep down in through the wood and underneath but we're gonna see how they do I'm telling you love this stuff ah oh, the fumes all right so let's take our brush and we're just gonna gloop it and gleep it and glop it all over the place oh it's all over and I guess we'll see what happens we're gonna go both ways we're gonna go that way and this way and we're gonna go that way and this way and this way and that way and really want to put this stuff to the test now yeah you, know, you probably wouldn't use tape when you're doing stain but again because this stuff is like a shoe polish I'm hoping it holds up and I don't see why it shouldn't and we'll just wipe her down there but again you can see that it's not that runny stuff it is a really thick it's almost like a gel stain so we're gonna take this stuff off the first one we're going to do is the froggy tape now I will show you all a closer view but let's go with the 3m generic and then let's go the 3m blue the stuff that I usually get now if you look at this here you can definitely tell on the froggy tape that is seeped over and not just a little bit a pretty good amount now I don't have anything to do with any of these tapes of course I bought them with my own money blah 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 I just never been a fan of the frog tape. I just never was. There's other people out there that are probably going to disagree, but it being the most expensive tape, I was kind of disappointed. 
If you look at the 3M generic contractor tape that only costs around $3.20, it actually looks like it did a better job. You do have some bleed over, but all in all, not as bad as the froggy tape. And another view right here, you can see, again, it bled over on the contractor grade stuff, but still, it does not seem to be as bad. You can definitely see it seeping in a little bit more, even when the tape was on, you know, on the other underneath. So let's move it now right down the middle of this board, and let's see what the 3M Blue did. A lot better. Definitely a lot cleaner up on top. There are a couple parts that I'm going to show you right here, but all in all, if you're asking me, and there you go, it bled over in a couple larger areas, but all in all, definitely a cleaner line compared to all three of these. So right now, if you ask me, I'm going to say the 3M Blue wins it. The Froggy Tape, the most expensive, did the worst. The Contractor Grade for the $3 really didn't do all that bad, but we're going to move it on now to the paint. And that's really what you want to see, right? Because that's what we're using this for, paint. So we got some MDF. We're going to try to use a different material here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to lay our tape out. And we're just going to gleep it and glop it and sloop it and slop it all over the place and see what it does. Now, this red paint here, it is pretty thick. It's a good paint, man. Good stuff. You know, bare paint. Never had an issue with it. Again, we're going to gleep and glop. And we're going to go down this way, we're going to go that way. And, you know, when you're painting, let's be honest, you're not the neatest person in the world. I'm not the neatest person in the world. The reason you're putting tape down there is so you don't have to be the neatest person in the world. But at the same time, you want your projects to look neat, like they're actually professional, right? So now that we're getting that paint on there, we're going to heat this up because I'm sure somebody's going to say in the comment section, well, that, that stain wasn't dried 100% and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for about an hour, let it dry up, and then we're going to come out and we're going to take that tape off. And oh, look at that. The paint is dried already. And now we're just going to rip the tape off. Now I'm curious to know who you think is going to win this. So before we actually conduct this test, leave a comment in the comment section below. See if you're right. All right, so there's the froggy tape. Gone. We're going to take our 3M. Gone. And we're going to come over here and take our general contractor $3 tape. Gone. How did they do? Well, let's check them out. All right, so right down here on the left where the froggy tape was placed. Oh, look at that. Pretty straight lines, not bad, except for I found some gloop, and that's not good. You got the gloop, and you know, whatever. And there was nothing wrong with that, it was completely flat. I know you see that mark up on top, not even touching that paint. But yeah, okay, a little bit of gloop. Now we're going to go with the 3M. Remember that was the $7 something tape, and pretty nice straight edges so far. And well, let's just bring it up. Ooh. I think I found something right there a little bit in the left hand corner so a little bit of bleed over but other than that really really nice lines now let's take a look at the three dollar tape and you know I'm gonna tell you it looks like that left the cleanest lines out of all of them so here is my conclusion I guess it depends really on what you're working on right I didn't think that any one of these tapes were going to work great with the stain they did better than I actually thought but when you're painting a three dollar contractor grade tape should be just as good as the seven dollar 3m or the eight dollar frog tape imagine painting your entire house and how much money you're going to spend in painters tape when the 3m generic stuff works just as good or almost as good as the more expensive stuff yeah the 3m blue is a little bit more sturdy the frog tape I gotta be honest with you I never cared for it I know there's other people out there that just swear by this stuff and that's great if you want to use it use it but the sticking power you know the adhesiveness on that 3m is just as good as all the other ones that we've tested now if you're going to the dollar store and buying some really junky crap crap junk 
well, then you're going to run into issues. But as long as you stay around a $3, $4 mark on tape, you're going to be able to get the quality that you want, and you're not going to break the bank. You can get two rolls of tape for the price of one, and you're going to be better off for it. So, I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Please smash that like button if the video helped you in any way. Get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other videos. I appreciate you stopping by. We'll be back with more videos soon.